You might get some use today, buddy. You might get some use. Welcome everybody to another daily vlog. A vlog that happens pretty much daily. I am in, I don't even know what town I'm in. Let me look. I'm in Fairfield, Ohio. Fairfield, Ohio. Uh, getting unloaded here at a McDonald's. Well, it's, it's the warehouse that McDonald's uses. It's called Martin Brower. They're pretty much everywhere. Delivering that load of eggs that I picked up a day and a half ago for their Egg McMuffins and stuff like that. They're real eggs, so they crack them and make the Egg McMuffins. Anyway, so I'm delivering that. It's 10 a.m. At 2 a.m. in the morning tonight, I pick up a load going back to Minnesota here in Cincinnati. Well, I'm in Fairfield, but Cincinnati's 15 miles from here. So I'm picking up there at 2 o'clock in the morning going straight back to Minnesota, which should put me there as long as they load me at two o'clock in the morning, like my appointment time says. And let's say I get out of there at four in the morning, I should be back in Minnesota seven, eight o'clock at night, right around there. Then I should be picking up my load, heading back to Florida. Woo! Oh, I got coffee by the way. So everything, as long as everything works out as planned, which it never does. I know because I used to watch Wile E. Coyote cartoons. Nothing ever worked out the way he had planned. But as long as it works out for me, I'll be happy. So what's going to happen today is, since I got a kill time, they're unloading me right now. Is the camera moving? Is the camera moving? I don't know. But uh, once I get unloaded here, I got a lot of time to kill. So I think... I'm gonna put my Osmo, my regular Osmo through the test, ride the Segway, fly my drone. Uh, the reason I wanna test out my other Osmo is because I got this shotgun mic on it. I don't know if you guys could see it. Right here, I got this shotgun mic on my Osmo. I wanna test out in high winds, at high speeds. You know, when I travel along America's roadways at 10 miles an hour at those extremely high speeds, if I'm using my cell phone, that wind, you know, breaks into the microphone. If you watched my Epcot Center riding my Segway at Epcot Center video, it was doing that. You, could, you couldn't hear nothing because the wind was pounding that microphone. So I kind of want to test out what the shotgun mic sounds like while riding the Segway at full blast. So I'm going to do that today, possibly fly my drone if I could find some good places to fly. I, I, I envision in my head that the place I'm going to, it's, it's like I said, plans never work out. But I have a plan to fly around the city of Cincinnati. That would be kind of cool. You get the football stadium, the skyscrapers, the river, the bridges. I would like to fly my drone around all that. I just don't know how close I'm going to be to all that. As long as I'm within a couple miles, I could fly my drone over to it. But I'm just not sure where I'm going to be. So fingers crossed, fly the drone, ride the Segway, shoot video with my Osmo. That's my plan today. But first, I have to get unloaded here. While I'm still getting unloaded, I know I just cut for a second, but while I'm getting unloaded, I do have a quick question to any iOS users out there. I'm not an iOS person. Uh, I'm not a big Apple fan, especially of this iPhone 7 Plus thing. I'm really not a fan of it. I can't. But putting that aside, since I do have one, I figured why not download a couple games? So because Android, the new Mario run, is not available on Android just yet. It is coming because I've seen it in the Play Store. So it should be here anytime. But because I don't have access to it yet, I did put Mario Run on this phone. And also, because I like to go to Las Vegas and stuff, I put a slot machine game on here. But I'm having issues with games on an iPhone. So if anybody can help me out, I would really appreciate it. This is my problem. Let's pick a game. Uh, now this did have, okay, Mario Brothers. Let's kick up Mario here. Is there supposed to be sound? Volume's all the way up. Tap to begin.
update is downloading. I guess there's an update. But my problem is there's no sound on Mario Brothers. That How do you get the sound on Mario Brothers? I went to the settings, did everything. All the volumes are up all the way. Oh, it's almost done already. Hold on. I'll show you. This game isn't the only issue. Hurry up. 86, 88, 89, 91, 94... 99. Ta da! Come on. Okay, Mario, where'd you go? Is there supposed to be sounds? I don't know. Like, I'll. Let's take the tour. Listen. Let's, let's just pick the first level. Start. How come there's no sounds? Mario doesn't make any sounds. Not only that. This game did make sounds. You see that? It used to sing, it goes, it used, it, it, there used to be music. And then let's pick Willy Wonka. Uh, let's pick Willy Wonka. Now, this used to have sounds, these slot machines used to have sounds. They don't anymore. How come my video games on iOS don't have sound? And I know it's, I went to the settings, the settings all say all the sounds are up. In-game sounds, uh, music and stuff like that, they're all slid all the way up. I don't understand it. Are any of you guys having that issue with any of your games? That's the only reason I'm using the iPhone because there's not, no other reason to use it. Since I got it, I'm just putting some video games on because I have 256 gig of memory. My other, my Android devices, I don't have that much memory, so I could put the games on here because I have lots of memory, lots of storage. I'm not worried about burning through storage because I don't use this phone for anything else. In fact, I don't even use it as a phone. I don't even know the phone number associated with this phone. So the only thing I'm using it for is games, and there's no audio. None at all. If you guys know what I'm doing, what's wrong with it, let me know. See you in a minute. Well, from where I am was parked to where I am, there's Cincinnati. That's the football stadium. And I got to cross this river, which I think is the Ohio River. But the place I'm going to does not offer truck parking. So I'm going to go to someplace pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Well, not really that awesome. A mall. I'm going to take you guys to a mall. But there's something unique about this mall. But first, we have to hop on this Segway. And head over. Just kind of testing out here real fast how the wind is. What I want to show you guys is in this parking lot. But it might be best to go up into another parking lot up here by the Harley dealer. Check this out. Now that's a crazy horse. You would think they'd make it a hog. Why a horse? Anyway, here is what I wanted to show you. Look at that water tower. Florence, y'all. Florence, y'all. Now, when this mall over here was first built, right over there, when that mall was built, this water tower, they painted it to say the Florence Mall. But the city decided, hey, you know what? You can't advertise a mall on taxpayers' water towers or whatever. I think that's what the excuse was. So they painted over the M for mall and put a Y up there. And it's been that way for years and years and years and years. Kind of makes it unique. Okay, it's not that unique but it's still unique. 
What else want, might be unique is if they let me ride this, or at least bring the Segway into the mall. Let's go see. What's kind of cool is I'm 200 pounds and I came up this hill. Now I got to go down the hill, which is kind of different than going up because you got to learn how to brake with this thing. Get in here with traffic. I don't think I've ever been inside this mall. Basically because the truck stops like a mile away, two miles away. And they don't allow truck parking within the parking lot. So this Segway here is changing my life. It's actually life changing. Okay, I'm a little bit early. It's showing, it opens at 12 o'clock noon on Sundays. So I guess we could just cruise around the sidewalk. And I really hope this is not glass I'm riding on. I hope it's just salt. There's a choo-choo train in the mall. How you doing? Nah, not too bad. You guys got a train in the mall. Yeah. Well, if they have a train in the mall, I don't think they'll mind that I have my Segway in the mall. Well, I just went into a Verizon store. I was actually gonna pay for a Google Pixel. Pay for it cash. They do sell them unlocked, but they have to be tied to a Verizon account. Even if you pay cash for it, it ha they cannot sell it unless you connect it to their account, which I don't understand. I don't want Verizon. I don't want it attached to a, a Verizon account. I want it unlocked so I could take it to other carriers. Why sell an unlocked phone? But to purchase it, you actually have to su subscribe to their account or to their, their carrier. That's odd, Verizon. I'm so glad I don't have you. I'm gonna send the Segway in to figure out what Victoria's Secret really is. I've been hearing quite a bit about Gold Star Chili and inside the food court, they got one. So I kind of wanted to give it a little taste test, check that out. Don't know what Gold Star is. There's another chili company up here in the north, in the Cincinnati area. Indiana, Illinois, Ohio. I forget the name of it though. Hey y'all, what's the name of the other chili company y'all got up north that's like this? Skyline, Skyline Chili. Which do you like better? I haven't tasted it. You like Gold Star better? Well, thank you. Yeah, we'll give this one a shot. That's not bad. <laughs> uh huh. Okay, not bad. But you know, when you go to a chili place and you think to yourself, well, wait a second. They sure put a lot of cheese on there. The cheese is usually there to hide something. That's not good chili. It's not bad. There's something weird about it. It's like cinnamon. It's like they dumped a bunch of cinnamon in the chili. Hmm. One more taste. I got chili five ways by by the way. So it's on top of spaghetti noodles. Yeah, definitely not the best chili. I think I've had better canned chili. I think Hormel chili is probably better than this. Well, I don't think I definitely will not, does that make sense? Be eating Gold Star Chili again. That was not very good. 
But when I come to malls, I definitely will be riding my Segway quite a bit because this is amazing. I'm really, really curious to get back to the truck, do some video editing, and find out if there's a lot of wind noise. What's kind of cool though, since I've had it, I'm almost up to 15 miles. 15 miles of riding it, almost. I think I'm at 11 something, but it's 11's close to 15, right? As a matter of fact, I think once I get back in the truck, I'll have to do a full charge. I think I'm gonna have to plug it in and charge it. Look at that. Look at me go. Yeah, this thing is pretty awesome. I really dig it. I love this thing. But what I was talking about earlier uh, in another video about walking through malls and stuff, you can control it like this. It works really, really well. I'm using my regular Osmo, and my regular Osmo does not have tracking, so I'm ducking down to make sure I'm on camera. I don't even know if you guys can see me. Look at that. It works really well. Uh, this is not a bad investment at all. Let me walk around so I can shut this off and get back in the truck. Well, I'm charging my Segway. I had four miles left to go on what I had, the original charge from when I purchased it and the very first night I charged it. I had four miles left out of a 15 mile range. So I put, didn't do too bad. I wonder if the application tells me Bluetooth is disconnected. Oh, I disconnected it because I'm charging. Let's see here. Yeah, I can't figure it out until I'm done charging. So I'm gonna get it back up to 15 miles of charge and I'm gonna go riding around again in a little bit. Shouldn't take too long to charge it. I'm gonna go ahead and edit this video and then use this Osmo. This is, I swapped Osmos. See, check this out. I put my regular Osmo back on the window. I'm gonna go ahead, take the footage off the memory card there and try and create some sort of video. I don't know what it's gonna look like. I saw, I'm sorry guys. I wasn't really concerned about shooting video so much today as I was putting some miles on this and to take it inside of a mall, which it worked. Not one couple, nobody said anything. Security, nothing. Nobody said anything about my Segway in the mall. So that's actually pretty awesome. Really happy about that. But when I got back to my truck, I had to pick the thing back up. It does weigh 23 pounds, so it's kind of heavy. I mean, it's not real heavy, but when you're trying to pick it up over a steering wheel and put it back in this area, it gets kind of tedious in and out, in and out if you're going to go ride. I wish I had a place outside of my vehicle that I could mount this so when I park, I could just open up my door, get out, and it's already outside and I could just take it out. I want to put it underneath my bed because I have two doors underneath my bed on the outside of my vehicle and then I could just put it out there and then when I want to ride I just open up the outside door set it out but uh, I have my snow chains in there right now so that's not going to happen anyway I'm going to go ahead and edit this video download all that stuff and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow love you all peace